Now, after we made sure that uh, all required fields are filled in and passwords do match, we are ready to send information to Parse to complete the registration. And to begin, uh, we need to create a um, special type uh, object, which is uh, called uh, user, and populate it with, uh, with the fields that we have. So I'll create a new variable, uh, my user. And this is going to be uh, a special type, which is PF user. PF user. I said variable, but actually I'm creating a constant here. Um, so please forgive me for that. Okay, so and then I say my uh, user, username is equal to. Um, user email okay uh, not well, how did we call email address and oh, we just call it username okay um, username equals user name notice that I did not have to create this uh, project myself from scratch this object comes from um, this object comes from parse SDK and it has a username uh, property already there so I don't I didn't have to create this okay my user password is equal to user password and um, my user email is equal to user name right because in our uh, registration username is our email address um, okay so this is it for the um, uh, for the um, built-in properties that match our registration form the rest um, values for the first name and the last name these are not standard uh, a property for PF uh, object so we need to set them a little bit different we'll set them as um, an object value so we say say uh, set object and then we type user first name for the key user first name or we just say first name okay and we will do the same thing for the last name user last name for key last name last name it is important that uh, these keys they match a uh, data structure that we have uh, in parse uh, if the key is not does not match it will create a new one okay so just make sure that these fields match the fields we've created in parse uh, user table and the last one which is um, which is a profile picture my user set object and this is going to be our profile image data Um, no, 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 no. We, we've left a comment for ourselves that we need to create this PF file. Okay, so that's a special type. So if profile image date is not equal to null, we need to create another special type file, which is called PF file. So I'll say let profile image file equals to PF file and it accepts and as data which is profile image data we have okay so if it's not nil then we need to set it I will actually need to restructure my code a little bit now so I will say my user set object image file for the key profile picture and because I have declared this earlier I will need to move it a little bit 
above here or maybe yeah let's keep it here okay so first we declare an object populated with the fields that we have and then we read image profile data and if it's not nil we set the object with our profile image data into a profile file and are ready to send it to parse now uh, when we send information to parse it's also uh, uh, very much uh, simplified already so my user object uh, my user or pf user has a built-in function called sign up in background with block so i'll um, use this one and then i'll hit enter and for the boolean value i will also hit enter and we'll create uh, a new variable called um, success and for an s error also hit enter and cre create an object error void and this is my code here so basically if everything goes well if user signs in, signs up uh, i mean if the sign up um, call succeeds this value success this value success is going to be true if something's go if something goes wrong the object here we have error it will be populated with uh, some error information and we can read it for example localized um, message description and display it to the user but uh, messages uh, that come from SDK usually are uh, very technical so we we might want to be in control of the situation and provide a custom error um, message so um, let's uh, go ahead and implement this little piece of code well first of all we want to display an alert message if everything goes well uh, or there's an error we want to display an alert message so I'll copy this code that displays an alert message and I'll paste it into into uh, my block here now um, but alert message uh, should be different so uh, let me uh, take this message out for example I'll say I'll create a new variable user message and this variable will be equal to something like uh, a default user message um, regist registration is successful thank you okay and now we say if if it's not success for example if um, not success then error message will differ and we uh, we can come up with a custom message uh, we just could not register at this time please try again later something like this could not register at this time please try again later or we can uh, read the um, um, localized description message from the alert message for example I will comment it out for um, at this time and uh, say uh, user message equals to error localized description and that will return uh, the uh, description message from SDK okay and uh, next we display an alert message uh, okay action and once we tap on OK, the action will be um, dismissed. And we will end up with uh, the uh, sign up page um, presented again. Let's improve this a little bit and say, for example, when OK button is stopped, we will actually uh, we will actually do something. And for example, if it's uh, not if it's success, if everything is okay, if registration is successful, then we will dismiss the view controller because registration is successful, 
and we want user to sign in and completion no, we'll just do no okay so let's build it so if registration is successful we dismiss sign up uh, view controller else a user will stay on the same page until they correct um, their um, issue okay uh, and now we are ready to start it uh, and see how it works Okay, so I'll go to sign up page, uh, type in my email address first. Oh, I did not select the picture, so I'll select the picture. And now password, um, some digits, repeat the same digits, and then first name, and then scroll a little bit, last name, and then scroll a little bit, and tap on sign up button okay so information is being sent i can see this little activity indicator circling but we will later implement proper activity indicator and we get an alert message registration is successful very good so technically now because it is a successful alert message we um uh, the alert message will disappear as soon as we tap on ok button and the sign up view controller should be dismissed okay and we are ready to log in so registration is successful let's go on to our parse and then uh, see if um, data is here so we have a user object i click on it and now i refresh data here we go we have uh, one user with username which is email address and we have email address text field first name uh, created updated uh, last name and profile picture if I click on profile picture it will be downloaded to my computer and I can preview it so um, let's try uh, again for example but uh, this time we will um, generate an error message let's try disconnecting from internet I'll turn off my Wi-Fi and see what's going on what what will go wrong and I'll select picture and I will provide my email address and my password and I will repeat the same password first name scroll up a little bit and last name sign up okay we get an alert message but this time it is an error message that comes from SDK internet connection appears to be offline tap on OK and we stay on the same place we didn't go anywhere because uh, of our business logic we've implemented we dismiss view controller only if we are successful with the registration and if we're not successful we get a localized description message so let's put a breakpoint here and tap again yes this is the error message that comes from parse so if i step further i get internet connection appears to be on offline okay so uh we uh, now know how to send how to register user how to validate fields and uh, we can uh, continue